Hi everyone, welcome to Takeda. Today in this video, I'm going to show you a little demo on how to replace the default WooCommerce authentication by Firebase authentication. Let's go. So if you are using WordPress and you have the Integrate Firebase Pro plugins and the WooCommerce extension, you will see in the dashboard. Okay. So this is the default configuration of uh, WooCommerce extension. I will uncheck everything and see what happened. And I'm going to open incognito. So without any configuration, when you go to my account, you will see that this is the default login of WooCommerce. And even though you buy something, let's see. Add to card, view card, proceed to checkout. So this is the checkout page where you can let user to log in with the WordPress authentication credentials. However, if you need Firebase and you need user's ID, for example, because when user purchase from your WooCommerce website, you need something in Firebase in order to enable user's account, for example, like allow user to use your app after they purchase something on the WooCommerce website. And then that's where you need Firebase information. Okay. And because the default setting has nothing, I didn't allow user like must login to checkout, for example, or allow you social login. So this is what happened when you don't configure anything. It just send products, order, or subscription to Firestore or real time. That's what it does, the WooCommerce extension. But if you do have authentication, so in the authentication tab, so the few ways that you can integrate the authentication to your WooCommerce website. So first thing, if you have a dedicated login page, you can enter the path here. And in the WooCommerce, extension you can check must login for checkout and then you save it then in the shopping process for example after user add something to cart and then they view cart and then if they proceed to checkout it will be redirected to a login page where user can log in let me log in. Okay, so after I log in, it will redirect me to the checkout page with my user account or my email ready. Okay, and then after users place the order, the user information and their purchase status will be sent to Firebase so you can do the user check on it. I'm going to side out. Okay. And let's try the second method. So if I allow you social login, and then I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to go back to Firebase. So you can see that the sign option here, I have a lot of social media options. So if you go back to the page okay and then you re refresh the my account page so this my account page is being replaced by the new social login from firebase so you still have like a bunch of options that they can log in and then continue the purchase process and in case you don't want to have social login and you only want the email and password authentication, you can come back to the auth tab and then you uncheck everything. Okay, I will uncheck everything and then and save it. Then I will refresh the page. Now the page only has the email and password option. They can either sign up or sign under your my account page and if users 
purchase something. Let's try the process again. And then view card. And then proceed to checkout. You see that the authentication form is inside the checkout page where user can log in if they want to or sign up or if they don't have an account then they can continue the purchase process and then your firebase and wordpress users will be in firebase and ready for you after the purchase so that's everything you can have like different option or combination so you can integrate the firebase authentication to your wordpress or woocommerce website so if you have any question let's just let me know just send me email or comment under this video i'm gonna make a video next time so see you next time bye